Hey everybody, welcome to a new tutorial. And in this one, I basically wanted to show you kind of a quick and down and dirty uh, mob farm for once you get to the point where you're working with industrial foregoing in uh, all the mod six to the sky. All right. And so what we're gonna do for the inside is we're gonna wanna do a five by five area. All right, and then Whoops, <laughs> and carried away. Okay, so we have a five by five, and then we're going to leave that for now. Um, I'm going to go up. So depending on what you want, uh, if you want Enderman, uh, you can leave three here, or if you don't, you just only give it two uh, a height of two. Okay, so it, it just depends on whether you want to have the Enderman. Uh, to me, uh, the inner pearls are nice to have at this point, so, you know, it'll be totally up to you. So, now that you have basically a big box, alright, and this is going to be your ground level, um, what you are going to want is a mob crusher. Alright, and I'll actually show you the... So you need two gold gears, which are just four gold around one nugget, an iron nugget. You need the advanced machine frame. So you need to be at the at least to the point where you're getting pink slime, uh, and this the simple simple frame as well. Uh, then you've got plastic and an iron sword and two books and a little redstone. So it's pretty. Uh, it's not terrible. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Yep. I'm gonna make sure I had the right direction. All right, and so let's see what we we can do for power source. Okay, and so. <clears throat> Now that we have power, you have two options of uh, what to do here. So um, this is going to be collecting items. So you can go, if you go right next to it. So here's the thing, all right? If you, if you go right next to it, you're gonna leave yourself open. What I tend to do is come back here and put it there, right? And so, and then what I'll do is put it there. All right. And then you need an add-on. Um, I think a four, either a three or a four will do this. Oop, and I threw out the creative power. <laughs> power cell. There we go. So anyways, so the, the idea is you can go underneath with it. All right, so let's do the four and then we'll see. Good. So the four covers the whole area. That's nice. All right, there we go. Uh, and we can also do, I would suggest a speed of two. All right, and then, uh, so you're going to come off of, let's see, let's do pipes. Um, so you're going to come off one side with um, items and the other side with uh, fluid because this is going to create essence which you can use in other areas um, <clears throat> so we can do a chest and 
and also we can do a tank. Uh, I would suggest an ender tank if you're going to be moving it around. Um, there we go. So now we're going to shift, right click there, shift, right click there, and that should be ready to go. All right. Uh, so now the most important thing is uh, you can get mobs to spawn in here without doing anything to the dirt. Absolutely, 100%. Um, but if you use what's called the dreadful dirt, <clears throat> uh, it spawns hostile miles, mobs. Um, and if you add light to it, if you need to get in there and work on it, all you have to do is add torches. You know, you can do redstone torches on the top and turn them on when you need to stop the spawning. So, But what you need is a rotten egg. And to get the rotten egg, you need the feed. Uh, this one here. Oops. I guess I can show you. Okay. <clears throat> chicken spawn egg so what you're gonna do is spawn a chicken and then you feed him the earth <coughs> <coughs> excuse me um, and you get what you see this it's called a rotten egg all right uh, to make the feed it's pretty simple uh, four buckets of XP uh, some kind of seed and then mob drops so gunpowder bone spider eye and rotten flesh and then that's pretty it pretty much it any seed in the middle all right so now what we do is oops not fall off the the bottom let's turn it back to daytime so you can see and then so what you want to do this should give you a five by five so if you right click the middle part there and there we go so now it is spawning and killing pretty much everything that's up here or that goes in so now there's a couple of things you could do if you want to uh, still be able to see in it all right you do some dark glass um, which is there's one that's weatherproof and that's the one I suggest Oop. Oh, it's tinted, tinted glass. Uh, designed to prevent light, tough enough to withstand withers. All right, and so what I would do is put this, put these in here, if you want to be able to see in. Maybe you can't see in. Uh, you could try some of the other dark glass. Uh, you can kind of see there. You know, or you could do. So the the problem is, is you do have creepers. That could explode so you kind of really do want uh the witherproof type glass but if you really just want to see it <coughs> and keep it dark it doesn't need a whole lot of darkness like you can have like it set up to level uh, level of 10 light before it'll actually stop so but this should uh produce this should produce spawns whether you're there or not but so yeah you can see this is actually just in a short little time, it's cranked out that much. We're also getting uh, essence. So that's almost five buckets of essence. Now the essence is used for a bunch of different things in industrial foregoing, so it's certainly beneficial to be creating a lot of it, at, you know, especially when you first start. Uh, the enchantment factory and the enchantment applicator and all of those machines that use that essence to create uh, enchanted books um, kind of make that a, a, a necessary, you know, necessary step for when you make your mob your mob farm so thanks for watching hopefully that was helpful hopefully that gets you started on your mob farm and hopefully uh you found this entertaining thank you for watching